I'm trying to make this a short video. Not much to talk about. Not doing any photography today. I am back in Oregon, way off the coast. I had to get off the coast. I went up into Washington and stayed two nights there. And I had to leave there. I had to head back southeast because up there it's just still cold, real high elevation. They got a bunch of snow. A couple places I try to get to, you have to take all the foresty roads and they don't plow those. So there's a couple places I hit, there was still like a foot and a half of snow and still had to travel like four miles on those roads to get there. So I ended up not going there. Found a spot, camped out for a couple of these past two nights. And today I drove 150 miles southeast, found a nice area. I think this is the same area in 2020 when I was out here in Oregon. I think I say the same place, but the river's a lot higher, so I can't, I can't really tell. But, I mean, I was looking forward to this area, hiking around, taking some photos, and doing a video. But, I uh, got here, and having troubles with the camper, I got these electric struts on the side here that have little motors in them push a button and raises the roof up and down and ever since I had this camper like within the first month they would start a lot of times they'll rise quicker to each other one to go up faster than the other and it's like you got to run around and unplug it and play musical struts all the way around and I had to do that so often I pulled this one out one day and the prong came out with it luckily I was able to get the prong back in but yeah so for the past hour and a half i've been messing with it this front one up here front passenger messing with that for the last hour and a half trying to get it to work and behind her is just small little motor and you got small little plastic plastic gear and then the mains right here for some reason is a metal gear so that little plastic one turns which turns a vertical gear to push the push roof up. But since that little tiny gear, for some reason, <laughs> some reason, they use a plastic one. So the metal rod that goes into the motor, that goes into that gear, stripped out that little plastic gear. So it just spins in there once it gets pressure on it. So now we're gonna have to sleep on the couch slash dining room table. <laughs> I, I can't catch a break. What was it, back in January? I had to buy a brand new tripod. February, something happened, I can't remember. But now this, I, I just can't catch a break. As soon as everything starts going smoothly, I have to, just had a retreat out of the Northwest to get away from there, because just because of the snow, I mean, you got all those higher elevations, all the camping, especially all the free camping is just way up in there. And nice places. When I was out here, like I said, in 2020 in the summer, it was gorgeous. It was it was awesome. All the mountain lakes and all that. But just can't get to them. And it snows too deep. And then there's more snow probably coming. I know in a couple of days they're calling for more snow up there. And, and like I said, I had to leave the West Coast. I was really looking forward to doing that all the way up. But that last video I just posted, that was the last photos I took on the coast. Because during the coast, I was going to travel all the way up, but it was all, you had to pay for everything. And during that, I had a, while I was out there, I stayed a total of seven nights within three different uh, campgrounds along the coast. And it cost me $265 for just seven nights. So I would have been paying it would have been more around 700 just to keep driving up the coast. So I just couldn't do that, um, which sucks. But so I got to this nice area today. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm probably just going to have to turn around because I got no service to call anybody. So tomorrow, get up. At least I ain't got a whole lot of packing up to do. The roof's already down. That takes the longest. But... 
pack up and drive back out of here until I can get service. Let's try to find the nearest dealership for this. I mean, it's under warranty for a year. I've only, been, I've only used. Oh my God, I've only used it for three months. That's it. That's all I've been on the road. It's three months, just under three months, and yeah, that's what happened last month. Last month, um, I, my two of my solar solar batteries that I got with the camper, which I paid extra to get a second battery, those j both went bad. They just I took them to AutoZone or whatever they test them. They were bad. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't plug my laptop in more than I think within within 10 15 minutes the batteries just drained. I couldn't I couldn't do anything. I went through about a $100 worth of gas within a couple of days just running my truck to keep the batteries charged so I could have heat. So because cause my heater runs off of the the solar. Cuz I do all dry camping pretty much except for those times I stay in the campground a couple times. But I do all dry camping. I gotta have my solar. Everything's gotta work, and so far, not not very happy. But we'll get it taken care of. I don't really feel like driving all the way back to Pennsylvania or Indiana where I got the thing. So hopefully, I can find a dealer that deals with these and get a replacement part. I just, all I need is a new motor and be good to go. So other than that, there's not much to go on. I'll probably, I mean, there's a cool area over here, right behind me, there's, I mean, what I like about the eastern part of Oregon is it reminds me of New Mexico or northern Nevada. I mean, you've got all these red hills and rocky style mountains and all that all around you. And over here, I don't know if it, uh, I, don't know, I can't tell if it's focused, there you go. Right over there, I mean, you got the different layers of, you got a black layer and then red and brown, and so I was just really looking for the hiking around here. I thought about hiking way up on those and see what I could see, but tonight I think I might snap some photos of those, see what I can come up with. Um, if they come out, I'll throw them up, throw them up on this one, and. So, yeah, it might, I might have to skip a week as far as the video goes. I don't know. But, yeah, with that being said, I think that's, that's about it. I'll go down for the night, pack up, and leave out tomorrow and go hunting for a dealer somewhere. Well, actually, well, crap, tomorrow's Sunday, so <laughs> nobody's going to be open. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, well. I'll deal with it. I'll get it done. So, till then, thanks for listening to my rant. If I grab a photo this evening, I'll throw it up. If I don't, if I don't put one up, then obviously I didn't take a photo or it didn't come out, so I didn't post it. So, again, thanks for listening to this rant, and hopefully I see you soon again. Catch you then.